Hello everyone, I'm Jim Steiner, your Corona Mayor. I've asked our city manager to provide some updates for you today on some of the things that we've been doing as a city in regards to the state executive order from Governor Newsom. Thanks, Mayor. One of the questions that we receive a lot from residents is what are we doing to get information out there that's timely, that's accurate, that meets the needs of our community? Uh, the first place that I tell people to go is our website. That's your best source for updating information. Uh, we provide new information there daily, if not hourly. Uh, we also provide a number of different frequently asked questions and answers to those to make sure that our residents are getting the information that they need most. Um, I'd also direct people to sign up for our e-notifications. We currently have over 19,000 subscribers and that's a great way to get information sent out to you directly for those things as those issues and changes to state regulations uh, as new information comes up from the county. That's all provided on a regular updated basis. Uh, we engage social media quite widely. We, in the last two weeks alone, we've put out over 400 uh, social media posts. That's on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, those have been viewed over 35,000 times, and we've had over 139,000 engagements to date. We also have been recording videos from the mayor and key staff and posting those periodically out throughout the last few weeks. Uh, those have been a great way for us to get out important information to our residents and let them know about issues that are important to them. Uh, that information and those videos are also posted on our cable channel and are available for viewing online. Uh, we've also set up a number of interactive dashboards. Uh, the first dashboard provides the latest data and resources so that members of the community can have up-to-date information at their fingertips. There's also a second community resource dashboard that we've utilized to be able to showcase businesses uh, that are in our community that are open and those resources that residents are interested in utilizing, that's available to them also live and those are updated on a very regular basis. We've provided detailed email updates to our council and our workforce to be able to make sure that our employees also have information uh, to keep them informed of the latest developments in the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we've utilized outdoor billboard signs as well to try to get information out on those major uh, transportation corridors. And a big shout out to Lamar who's uh, provided those to us at no cost. I uh, really appreciate our community partners in helping us get those messages out to the community. Um, one of the things we've also come to find is that not everybody's online. We realize that not everyone uses the internet. Some people don't have a computer or they're just not on social media. So we've made a real uh, extra effort to reach out to those members in our community. We've been able to reach out and talk to more than 2,000 seniors since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic and been able to hand out physical paper flyers to them to get those key information uh, bulletins into the hands of the people that need it. Uh, we've also set up a new email address at COVID19info at coronaca.gov, monitor 24-7 to answer any questions from our community as those arise. In addition to that, we've also set up a 24-7 uh, phone line, and that provides an opportunity for anyone, any time of day, uh, seven days a week, to call in and have a live person answer their questions. And if those questions aren't available, if it's something you need, we will research the answer and call you back to make sure that you have the information that you need. You might be wondering what's happening now that City Hall is closed to the public. I want to reassure you that even though we are no longer having the public interact with our employees in City Hall, we're very much open for business. Our police, fire, Department of Water and Power are 100% staffed and providing services 24-7. We also have uh, the full range of services available in our building and inspections department. Uh, the primary difference is that in order to set an appointment to get a building inspection or to submit plans to get permits, uh, those can all be done online now and we've rolled out a new service that allows you to do that and get the same timely service that you ordinarily would. We're also receiving questions from residents who are concerned about the ability to pay utility bills. During the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have suspended all utility shutoffs for non-payment. We will be waiving penalties for any late fees and we'll be working with people on an individual basis to make sure that we can develop a payment plan that suits your ability to pay. A lot of people are also asking, what's the city doing and what additional steps are being taken to make sure that we're part of the solution in flattening the curve and slowing the spread of COVID-19 here at Corona? In addition to closing City Hall, we've also closed other community facilities. Uh, Skyline Trail has also been closed to the public and city park facilities, including playgrounds, sport courts, and bathrooms have also been closed in order to do uh, to, and take those additional steps to make sure that we are slowing that spread. Following the advice of our county health officials is another important step that you can take to stay in place, maintain your space, and cover your face. We're really grateful for the outpouring of support that we've seen from our business community, from our nonprofits, from our faith-based groups, and residents throughout Corona. I want to thank you for those offers of assistance and let you know that we are working hard to coordinate 
all of those resources from those that want to help with those that need the help. And over the next coming weeks, we will be working to connect those resources together to try to make sure that we are meeting the needs of those high-risk populations that are unable to meet their own needs. Finally, I just want to say, we recognize that these are tough times for everybody. There's elevated levels of stress out there. We'd encourage you to be that first line of defense for your family, for your neighbors, for your friends. And we want you to know that we're here to help as well. And we will be with you throughout the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you, Jacob. I wanted to remind everybody, for updated information, please go to our website, www.coronaca.gov. Stay healthy, everyone.